Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve compound inequalities involving or. We will go through two examples. Let's jump into number one, where we have 6y is less than 30 or 4y plus 10 is greater than 54. Now, when we solve a compound inequality involving or, all we need to do is solve each inequality separately. So we need to solve 6y is less than 30. Then we need to solve 4y plus 10 is greater than 54. Let's start with 6y is less than 30. We need to isolate that variable of y. y is being multiplied by 6, so we need the inverse operation of multiplication. That's division. So let's divide the left side by 6. Now remember, whatever we do to one side of an inequality, we must do to the other. So we need to divide the right side by 6 as well. Now the 6s on the left side cancel each other out. So y is now isolated. y is less than. And then on the right, 30 divided by 6 gives us 5. So we have y is less than 5. Now let's solve 4y plus 10 is greater than 54. We have multiplication and addition. So we need to undo the addition first. The inverse operation is subtraction. So let's subtract 10 from the left side and the right side as well. Now the 10s on the left cancel each other out. So we have 4y is greater than, and then on the right side, 54 minus 10 gives us 44. So we have 4y is greater than 44. So y is being multiplied by 4. We need the inverse operation of multiplication. That's division. So divide the left side by 4. We need to divide the right side by 4 as well. The 4s on the left cancel each other out. y is now isolated. We have y is greater than, and then on the right, 44 divided by 4 gives us 11. So we have y is greater than 11. And now we're done solving our two inequalities. So let's rewrite this as a compound inequality involving or. So we have y is less than 5 or y is greater than 11. So again, we have y is less than 5 or y is greater than 11. Now remember, when it comes to compound inequalities involving or, they are true, we have a solution, if either inequality is true. That means that y can be anything less than 5, or y can be anything greater than 11. Any number less than 5 or greater than 11 is a solution of this compound inequality. It will make the compound inequality true. Let's move on to number two. Now let's take a look at number two, where we have x plus five is less than three, or negative two x minus four is less than or equal to negative 18. So remember, we need to solve these separately. So we have x plus five is less than three, and then we need to solve negative two x minus four is less than or equal to negative 18. Let's start with x plus five is less than three. So we need to isolate x here and undo that addition. The inverse operation of addition is subtraction. So we need to subtract five from the left side. That means we need to subtract five from the right side as well. The fives on the left cancel each other out. X is now isolated, so we have X is less than, and then on the right side, three minus five gives us negative two. So we have X is less than negative two. 
Now we need to solve negative 2x minus 4 is less than or equal to negative 18. We need to undo the subtraction first. The inverse operation of subtraction is addition, so we need to add 4 to the left side. That means we need to add 4 to the right side as well. So the 4s on the left cancel each other out. We have negative 2x is less than or equal to. And then on the right, negative 18 plus 4 gives us negative 14. So now we have negative 2x is less than or equal to negative 14. Let's undo that multiplication with the inverse operation, division. So we need to divide the left side by negative two. That means we need to divide the right side by negative two as well. And remember, when we divide or multiply both sides of an inequality by a negative, the inequality symbol flips. So these negative twos cancel each other out. We have x, the inequality symbol flips, so we have x is greater than or equal to, and then on the right side, negative 14 divided by negative two gives us seven, a positive seven. Remember, a negative divided by a negative equals a positive. So x is greater than or equal to seven. And now we are done solving our two inequalities, and we can rewrite everything as a compound inequality. So we have x is less than negative two, or x is greater than or equal to seven. So again, x is less than negative two, or x is greater than or equal to seven. Any number less than negative two or greater than or equal to seven is a solution of this compound inequality. It will make it true. So there you have it. There's how to solve compound inequalities involving or. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.